This bedroom is the home of two very active boys, a 10 year old and an almost seven year old. And they had a lot of toys that were just taking up space on the floor and that were in a lot of mismatched bins and baskets. And so we wanted to solve that problem. Now it comes at a time when we also needed room for a Christmas tree. So let me show you what we came up with. Organizing a toy space in a bedroom is a great opportunity to get kids involved. Handsome man who's working on picking up all his Legos and putting them in one of the new containers that we bought. These are Sterlite latch lid containers. And what I love about them is that they're so deep, meaning tall, and you can stack them on top of each other so they don't take up as much floor space as some of these really large baskets we were using for toys before. And they all match each other. So we're gonna get this toy mess all straightened up and put away. Good job, Landy. Does it all fit in there? Wow, that is a huge container. It can fit like all those baskets in. And we gotta keep things separate so you can find them. Are you finding toys you haven't played with in a while? Yeah. Isn't this a fun experience? <laughs> I don't think I had to even ask. And with a Christmas tree stashed in the corner, we have room for all the newly organized toys to fit in nice, neat bins. The only thing yet to do is to label them so that the toys always get put back in the same place that they came from. And I was able to get a bunch of books off the floor with an extra basket that was freed up and put them here under their nightstand where they usually read. It's so nice to be able to eliminate all these mismatched bins. We'll use them when we're shopping the house to find other better locations for them. Now here comes the fun part. These are DIY labels inspired by Cass over at Clutterbug. She provides an Excel file and an instruction video for you to change these pictures and words to suit your own needs. I'll provide a link to that at the bottom of this video. Now let me show you exactly what I did. I printed these on cardstock and then I cut them out and laminated them on my laminating machine. You could also use uh, packing tape. I then put some 3M Velcro on the back. The advantage to having Velcro is that once you put these labels on a container and you've decided to use something different in the container, you can always tear it off and use it for something else. These Velcro 3M command strips are really easy. You just line them up back to back there's no right or left, they're both the same. Pinch them together. You can hear the crackling noise. And then you peel off one side. I'm trying to do this one-handed. It is a lot easier with two hands. I just apply this on the back, like so. Peel off this side, and I stick it right on the box. Now not only are the labels themselves easily removable from Velcro, you could also easily remove the whole Velcro 3M strip if you wanted to and just use a different kind of label. So they're very versatile. There's one other way you can attach these labels and that's with a hot glue gun, but I chose to use Velcro because these are gonna probably see a lot of wear and tear and we don't want them to rip off too easily. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe and I hope it works for you like it worked for me. See you next time.